today we are making five amazing salad that you can meal prep and put in your fridge and have as the week goes on because you know it's one thing to know that you want to eat healthy but i'm telling you making a salad every day sometimes can be you know so the first thing you're going to start with is my most favorite salad of all time which is caesar salad with chicken i mean can you even let me show you what we need so for my chicken caesar salad i'm going to need croutons these are croutons in the making guys my oven is already preheating at 190 so we're going to make croutons from these slices of bread then we need some lettuce this is actually chinese cabbage i thought it was romaine lettuce but you know what it, it will do or you can use regular lettuce i've already boiled my eggs over here and then we have some parmesan cheese and we have the chicken breast that i want to air fry right now now on top of all this we are also going to need a caesar dressing and we're going to make it from scratch because we are those guys okay for that we'll need some lemon juice mayonnaise some oil olive oil if you can balsamic vinegar or worcestershire sauce we need black pepper mustard salt and more parmesan cheese and some minced garlic so the first thing i want to do is to make my croutons because i love 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 croutons so i'll apply some oil or melted butter on my slices on both sides and then cut them into about one inch cubes i got the idea to sprinkle garlic powder on the croutons then i'm going to toss them place them in one layer on my baking sheet and then bake in the preheated oven for 10 to 15 minutes or until the croutons are golden brown and crisp and i'll stir them occasionally to make sure even browning If you're new here, hi, my name is Susie, and on this channel, we just look to make motherhood magical by just cooking delicious meals for our families and also just making our home life to be amazing for ourselves, for our family, which means we make it easy, convenient, and tasty and delicious. So if you're new, we'd like you to join our family by hitting the subscribe button. And for my OG guys, hi, I'm always so glad to see you. Please don't forget to hit the like button because that means so much to us. For the chicken breast, it's really easy because I'm just seasoning it with salt and pepper, making sure it's evenly seasoned, and then apply some oil on it, rub it nicely, and then I'm going to air fry them in the air fryer. The chicken goes into the air fryer for about 20 minutes on one side and 25 minutes on the other side or until you feel it is well done and the juices run clear. The croutons are ready and oh my goodness we could just stop this video right here and have the croutons instead because they were a hit. For the Caesar dressing, I'm mixing half a cup of mayo, a quarter cup of grated parmesan cheese, two tablespoons of lemon juice, one tablespoon of mustard, two garlic cloves, one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce or mm, balsamic vinegar, some salt and pepper to taste, and a quarter cup of olive oil. Guys, I decided to just use iceberg lettuce <laughs> instead of my fake Chinese cabbage lettuce because, as I said, this is my most favorite salad of all time. And I would honestly feel shortchanged if I use this Chinese cabbage and then it turns out to not taste the way I'm used to. So yes, I will cook that Chinese cabbage another time. But thankfully, I had quite a bit of lettuce that we have obviously washed in vinegar. And now it's time to assemble. Oh my goodness, we have a visitor in our kitchen. We keep finding grasshoppers. I don't know what's happening. I don't know whether it's because it's too hot outside because right now we are going through a heat wave. I don't know whether to call it a heat wave, but it's quite, quite, quite hot now. So, my goodness, they keep coming into our house. I don't like bugs. As long as they don't bug me, I'm fine. But, yeah. I've been meaning to get a salad spinner for ages. And sometimes... <laughs> 
I'll go shopping and then I look at it or I look at my Amazon cart and I'm like, ah, oh, I should probably get this. And then I'm like, I've been doing well without it until the next time I make salad. And then I'm looking at my soggy lettuce and I'm like, oh my goodness, I need a salad spinner. So I'll get one. First of all, can we just agree that this chicken is looking so nice and crispy as we cut it into pieces and then we assemble? Yes. My most favorite salad of all time. And this time because I made it myself, I put as much croutons, as much, as much chicken, as much dressing as I want. So yes, I'm really excited to taste this. Now, if you're making this to store in the fridge, all you do is just put all the dry ingredients and then the, the dressing will be on the side. So on the day you're ready to serve, you just have the dry salad part and then you drizzle so don't put it when it's dressed in the fridge because it doesn't last well so like this we'll just put cling film around it and then put it in the fridge but now let's do some tasting the dressing is so rich you guys what i put too much but just enough to make it fun what this is what dreams are made of Mm. Mm. What? Mm. Love it. Love it. 100%. 10 out of 10. Beautiful. Now this is a fantastically easy salad that i know you have had and probably have made in your house because we're making coleslaw coleslaw oh my goodness it stays it lasts very well in your fridge actually it ages the more you keep it and we're going to make it a bit fancy because we're going to use red cabbage instead of the usual green cabbage this is so nice then we have our red onion we have our carrots here simple but for our dressing we're going to use salt some pepper we have honey mayo we have apple cider vinegar and some mustard now it goes without saying that my cabbage and my all my vegetables are really thoroughly washed and soaked in vinegar now let's start the chopping For this coleslaw you could also use green regular cabbage of course or mixed red and green it's all going to turn out just as delicious and this grasshopper is still traveling around <laughs> my kitchen Once all the vegetables are ready and chopped, I'm making my dressing by mixing half a cup of mayo, four tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons of honey, two teaspoons of mustard, salt and pepper to taste. So delicious. I honestly feel like making a great tasting dressing will make a salad a hit or a miss and our kids love 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 salads and raw veggies because we started to introduce them to salads quite early and also because they taste good unlike with the scissor salad for the coleslaw i add the dressing into it before i put it in the fridge 
because it keeps very well and actually tastes better over time when it has chilled in the fridge together with the dressing. Now we are about to make another much, much favorite uh, salad of mine, which is cob salad. I'd honestly never heard of a cob salad until one day I went to CJ's and I saw it on the menu and it looked so nice and I had it. And every time I go to CJ's, that's what I have. But today we are making it at home. So let me show you what I need. For the cup salad, I am using these delicious boiled sweet corn, which I bought from my Kitty Market the last time I was there. I saved so much money compared to how much I pay for them at the supermarket. So if you're ever there, you can look out for this delicious sweet corn. I'm also going to be frying the bacon because, yeah, it also goes into the salad. Guys, did you know removing corn from the cup with a knife is so much faster <laughs> than the way you're used to here? Using our fingers. Okay, I love this. This wow, this went so fast. So we have some tomatoes, avocado, yum. Uh, I have some lettuce here. I have the chicken, what remained after we fried it in the air fryer. We have some boiled eggs. We have some bacon. And we have some corn on the cob. I love this salad because it is really heavy, heavy on the protein. Like if you're looking for just a complete meal, this one is fantastic for that. And then when we come here for the dressing, I have some oil, I have some vinegar, I have honey, I have salt, and I have mustard. This time no mayo. So yeah, you know, this is a healthy, healthier version of the dressing in case you're not a fan of the mayo that we've been using so far. And one thing I've noticed is when you go to the restaurant to serve a cob salad, like they don't like mix everything like the way we're used to. It's arranged nicely on your plate. And then when you're serving, you make for, mix for yourself. And especially if you're serving like a large crowd, which is what I'm, I'll be doing, it's better when someone picks whatever they want, they, they mix for themselves on their plate. So that's how I'm going to present it. Let me know if this is the normal way it is presented everywhere or it's just the one I've encountered. So I have my dish here that I'm going to use. So let's start chopping. Guys, I also forgot that it comes with some feta cheese that we were going to chop up and just put there. All right, let's start. The kids have been taking these art lessons from a YouTube page called Peter Priestley. So good, you guys. You remember a time back I was asking, for ideas on where to learn art, that channel is so nice. We are learning so much. Guys, if you are keen on making these recipes and are looking for the exact measurements, I am so excited to tell you that our website is coming along very well and we should be launching it in about one, maybe two to three weeks. We have quite a lot of recipes to put in there, so we're still in the process of typing and uploading them. But I'm so excited because all these will be available to you. Thank you for bearing with us so far and look out for that announcement. For the cup salad dressing, I'm mixing a quarter cup of olive oil, two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, one teaspoon mustard, one teaspoon honey, and salt and pepper to taste. Now, this dressing, I'm just going to put it on the side. I'm not going to mix it into the salad for now. And I'm also not going to put the dressing into the fridge so that it doesn't separate. So on the day of serving, we'll just drizzle it on the served salad on our plate. Tuna salad is a classic Almost everybody loves tuna salad. It keeps well in the fridge for about three to four days. And we're going to make it with these ingredients. So I have some peppers here. You can also put some lettuce. The lettuce is great for serving, but today we're going extra because I'll show you what we're serving the tuna salad with instead of the lettuce. But I do have my colored peppers here. I have my chopped onions, I have my celery sticks that I have already chopped, and I have three cans of tuna. Then we're going to have some lemon juice, some mayo, some salt, mustard, pepper, and some pickles because it's going to be over the top. And to serve, this is what we're going to use. Yes, I'm so excited to find this recipe where you can serve your tuna salad on crackers. I mean... Who doesn't love crackers? I love, 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 love crackers. So this is gonna be a treat. This is a treat for me. 
but if you're not a cracker fan as i said you can use lettuce to serve your tuna salad or you can actually put it between bread and make a tuna sandwich so let's make it Oh my goodness it's just hitting me now that i bought shredded tuna in sunflower what was i thinking oh my gosh because oh look see it's literally written on the can shredded this is not my favorite for this okay now here i have an old can that i've had for a while this is what i should have gone for tuna chunks in brine so if we're gonna make this recipe, this is the best quality because number one, it's in brine, so it's not as oily as the one in sunflower oil. And number two, it's in chunks, as in, let me show you the difference. So that's the shredded tuna, and I've drained it. I've tried to drain as much of the oil as I could. Okay. Now let me show you the one in brine, so you see the difference. Ouch. So you can see the difference. Hello tuna chunks. Very little. It's coming out. Look guys. Look at it. This is how you want. These are the chunks you want. The bigger pieces. They look better. Okay. As in, look at this. It's an entire piece. See. Man. Thank goodness I had one tin. So it's going to add some. You can tell the difference, right? This is the shredded one. This is the chunks. Love had your way in the heat. This tuna salad was the easiest to make because you don't make the dressing on the side, but just chuck everything together in the bowl and you mix. So after I have flaked the tuna, I'm adding the, ma the mayo, the mustard, the lemon juice to the tuna, mixing very well and then stirring in all the rest of the ingredients the peppers the red onion the celery and the pickles seasoning with salt and pepper to taste and honestly that's it that's it the next thing the thing i realized i'll do next time is i'll cut the peppers into a bit smaller pieces but otherwise this salad was a hit a future comes alive when you... interestingly our kids had a hard time <laughs> Picking which was their most favorite salad out of all these five, but I can assure you the tuna salad was definitely top two. They loved it. This from heart. Yeah. Love your way in the easy and the crazy. Love make me more like you, my prayer is simple God. Love have your way. Take my heart and take my soul. Take it all and take control. Take my life and all I am. Shape me. And now we're making a taco salad. Need I say more? I mean, let me show you what we're using. So here we have some ground beef or minced beef. What I did is I browned it in my pan and when it was dry, I added taco seasoning. The taco seasoning is a bit, just a little bit chilly, but not too much. I think kids can handle that. So that's what that is. And then I added a bit of salt. And here we have some beans. Technically, I'm supposed to use black beans, but in my mind, all beans were created equal. And then we have some um, sweet, sweet corn. Yes. And we have some avocado. We have some chopped tomatoes. And then some lettuce and lastly some cheddar cheese and now the most fun ingredient of all is my most favorite packaged snack ever like if you ever wanted to bribe me you know or to wish me a happy birthday and went to the supermarket and didn't know what to buy for me this is the snack you would buy for me and no it is not chocolate i mean we're not going to put chocolate in a taco salad i don't even like chocolate let me know down below whether you like chocolate but Guess what it is? Dun, dun, dun. I love tortilla chips. Oh my goodness. This is my weakness. This is my absolute weakness, I must say. I must say. 
I cannot tell you how many times I have bought packets of Doritos to bring to my kids and ended up eating them all. Anyway, this is what we're going to put in a taco salad. I cannot wait. My soul today. The only thing to do with the taco salad, which I loved, it's even easier than the tuna salad, is literally just to mix all the salad ingredients and we are done. Of course, it sounds much easier said than done because you still have to fry the, the beef and boil the beans if you're making them from scratch. But once you have all your ingredients ready, you just put them in the bowl and then you mix. My And topping off this salad with the tortilla chips, I mean, hello, please, yes, and thank you. What? Guys, that's it. That's the whole gist of the taco salad. I love the sprinkling of the tortilla chips on top because I love tortilla chips. Let me try this. I know it looks like it was invented by someone from Centro, which is probably right. But central people are the best. Ask me. Those tortilla chips are really adding something. And the, the crunchiness of the tortilla chips versus the softness of the um, avocado. But then you can make guacamole on the side to serve this. Oh my goodness, let me know which is your favorite salad or which one you're going to start making. Just look at this salad, man. Tell me you would not have this every day if you could. What? And this is what the kids chose to have for dinner because, yeah, it is delicious. One thing I have loved about these salads is that they are literally meals in themselves. So you can just have them and, you know, especially when you're not looking to eat something heavy for dinner, these salads are fantastic. I am, shape me in your mighty hand. Take my heart and take my soul. Take it off and take control. Take Look at that. Oh, I can't tell you the last time I was so proud of myself in the kitchen. This this has made me feel so good because these are all going to go into our fridge. We're going to enjoy them for the next few days coming up. And oh my goodness, I love them. And if you're looking for a nice refreshing drink to have with these salads, I have made fantastic juices that you can make at home. Also very refreshing and healthy. And that's the video you should watch next. I'll put it over here and I'll see you over there. Bye.